Well, I got another tattoo. Man, it's pretty when it's brand new. <sighs> I'm ready, dickhead. Me too. We'll say when. When. America! 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 Proud to be an American. Oh, at least I know I'm free. Okay. Well, that was fun. Joey, <coughs> yeah. what do you know what we're doing today? Yeah. What? You're doing a review of your pack safe. Nope. Well, I mean, my pack safe is part of the situation. People, America, is that fucking on me? What are you doing? You trying yeah. to do a bouquet? Yeah. No. America, this is my pack safe. Whenever I. As you know, America, I like to do vacationing by myself in third world countries. I take this when I go. It's got metal wires that run all through this. The little zippy things clip into some shit. Okay. And then kind of go into there so people can't really just unzip your shit and take it. Uh, it holds quite a, quite, quite a little bit of stuff there for you when you know when you're doing your thing. And there's an RDF thing in here where you can stick your uh, passport and any credit card you may have. Fancy little ring to hook your keys to or what have you. I don't know. Fucking bullshit, America. Uh, I thought I was going deer hunting. Got nixed. Next fade on the hick clade. Oh, son of a bitch. What do we got here? Okay. All right, Joey. Let me see your dull ass, fag uh, shitty ass knife. Right now? Yeah. Because America needs to know what's going on. Oh, that's a fine one. Come on. Yeah, this knife's poopy. Anyway, this is a good knife, right? Young. Says Billy Hill on it. <whistles> Fucking family. Beckers. This is uh, this is my favorite knife ever in the history of the world by Benchmade for pocket knife. It's called the Mini Barrage. It's like a barrage of awesomeness licking your face. <laughs> Benchmade, best knife ever. So, everybody that I know, men in America, always have me sharpen their knives. Which I don't mind. Just picked up this little guy too. Benchmade just came out with this uh, hunt series, specifically designed for hunting. This is going to be a good little skin and knife. Point up to the camera. Beer cutting up knife. Up? Hunt series. I'll uh, I'll put links to all this stuff in the in the uh, about section down below. But this is the activator. They quit making these. This is my number one deer knife. Me and this guy have been uh, butchering deers for a long time. Fucking great. I actually found another one of these, uh, a commissioned sales one of these at the local knife store. So I now have two. And that one has a sweet ass custom Kydex holster. Anyway, everybody, everybody I know comes to me. Damn, I can't believe I gave you this. Was that the first day you worked here? It's like third. Yeah, you ain't no kind of man if you don't have a knife. That's a fact, Joey. Yes. That's a fucking fact. Yes. So all my friends come to me to sharpen their knives. So I only use three things. Everybody's getting all fancy with these Ken Onion workhorse shits. It's still just as simple as it ever was. I, and th in fact, this is too much actually. I have a tiny little file. It's got a rough and then a maybe like a medium, which I use, this is great for uh, if you got any big chips or something like that, smooth it back to where it used to be with this file. Whoa. Getting crazy, Mom! And I literally turn this bitch on its side and get that motherfucker, shape it right back to where it was. Then get you an edge on there that's kind of centered. This is more for my axes and shit, the file. And then I got, this is the secret weapon, Mammy Jammy. Diamond hone, medium. I'm fine. And then this is the old school. This is this is all you need, America. Like you can do a really good job with just one of these. A stone. Um, 
And you can do this wet or dry. I'm a, I'm a wet guy. I like it wet. You just get you a pretty sharp angle there. You just move it. All you're doing is sanding off the weirdness. You want to get a nice, thin. You want it to come down thin. That's what gives you your cutting surface. Okay. Like a little water on there. This guy's already pretty sharp. One, that must have just sharpened this for you, huh? Yeah, I went camping. So that's got a nice clean edge already. This, by the way, these come, anybody makes them. Lansky makes a cheap little $10 bit deal for the common man. Mine's expensive. This Grants vs. Brooks, everything they make is badass. Sweden, they still do shit the old way, the way it should be done. Then you take your diamond, find out which side you're... This doesn't need the rough side, this just needs this thin side. Fine, I should say, fine side. Just right with your blade. You're trying to keep that same angle that you just had. So I'm going this way on, on this side, and I'm going the opposite way on this side because what... Me, 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 me. Go. Just hit play. So, before Joey interrupted, you want that baby on there at a pretty serious angle. You don't want to touch this, but you want to get a nice little angle there. See that, motherfuckers? Yeah. So that's the angle I'm working there. So, like I said, and then I'll do like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three. Finish it off even on all sides so what happens when you sharpen a knife and you don't have a necessarily a diamond home like this uh, and I I will take this further and take a strop which is a piece of leather and back and forth back and forth back and forth like this okay so what that does when you're when you're using that piece of leather whenever you sharpen a knife it comes up to that point but you can't there's a little wire metal that forms it goes right along that edge it's super hard to get off unless you have a diamond hone and especially when you're using a leather strop because it basically you got that piece of metal right that's your edge you got that little wire on there and it's just like a piece of metal you work back and forth it just snaps off eventually same thing with any other piece of metal and that is what gives you that razor sharp shave the hairs off of your arm crazy shit and that is important as a man for you to understand how to sharpen your own knife. Because if you can't sharpen your knife, what the fuck are you going to do if nobody's around to sharpen the motherfucker? Joey, how did you go through life without a sharp knife? Well, first I had to get the knife. Me, 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 me. Oh my god. Yeah. Joey came to me when he was 21 years old, didn't even have a knife. Get a pocket knife, gentlemen. It's a tool. It's not for stabbing people at the bar, it's a tool. Carry two of them always. Carry my Benchmade, which is, you know, my bigger, heavier knife. A little bit, little bit heavier duties. And then I got my case knife. It's got multiple knives, you know, different shaped blades do different things. This is like a little trapper guy. He's pretty cool. I'll put a link. Don't worry. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I'm going to be doing more reviews of manly shit because y'all don't know about my other side of life when I'm not at the tattoo shop. Billy Hill's a man, a man's man. I'm thinking about starting something. I'm not gonna talk about that. Anyway, one of these days we'll talk about that. America, learn to sharpen your fucking knives the old way. Deuces.